Ibrahim says, how to perform sujood as sahu Should we recite the tashahud twice? And when to do these prostrations? Before salam or afterwards? Sujood as sahu is an issue of dispute among schools of thought. The vast majority of them, they don't have a dispute because they rely on the hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, Abu Huraira, and Abdullah ibn Buhayna, may Allah be pleased with them. Four uh, uh, companions, may Allah be pleased with them, that reported different ways of performing sujood as-sahu. And the majority say that sujood as-sahu, which means or translates to forgetfulness prostrations, these are two prostrations we offer when we make a mistake or when we forget something in prayer or when we add something to prayer that is not part of it. So it can be at the end of the prayer before concluding it with salam to the right and to the left. And it can be after offering salam to the right and the left, you offer two prostrations of the of forgetfulness, and then you offer another salam. And we talked about this so many times, but what Ibrahim is referring to, if, I, if my understanding is correct, is how the Hanafi school of thought performed this prostration. So there, there are so many different opinions in the Hanafi school of thought. And None of it is according to the Quran or to the Sunnah. But due to the fact that it is one of the four schools of thought that all Muslims accept, we tend to tell people to follow it. Meaning that if I'm praying behind an Imam in India or in Pakistan, who happens to follow the Hanafi school of thought, in the last sitting, he offers tashahud. He doesn't offer salutation. He just said, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. And he offers one salam to the right. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. In other narrations or opinions of same Hanafi school of thought, they don't look to the right. They just say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah once without looking to the right. Then they offer two prostrations for forgetfulness. Then they sit and offer tashahud again and offer salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ. Then they offer salam to the right and to the left. This is not found in the Sunnah at all. Where did they get it from? beats me. Why do they offer one salam? Because they believe that one salam concludes your prayer. But because your prayer is not over yet, you conclude it to the right. Because if you said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to your left, they said that you cannot offer prostration of forgetfulness. Because you spoke unnecessarily when you gave salam to the left. Now, all of this is part of of their school of thought, part of their teaching. We agree. It's not backed up by Quran or Sunnah. Authentic Sunnah, that is. Yet we cannot simply just cross it out and say, leave the prayer, leave the Imam. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Go somewhere else. This is not logical. So the vast majority of scholars of Islam, of different schools of thought, say that due to the fact that this is one of the four authorized schools of thought in Islam, then you follow what the Imam has done exactly like we do when we pray behind the Hanafi Imam who is praying witr, three rak'ahs like Maghrib. The majority of scholars say that this is not permissible because the Prophet ﷺ prohibited us to pray 
Witter in the same format as Maghrib. So the majority would pray the first rak'ah normally. After the second prostration, they stand to the second rak'ah, recite Fatiha Surah normally. Then they do two prostrations and they stand for the third rak'ah. So it's not like Maghrib. Hanafi school of thought, no. In the second rak'ah, they sit for tashahud. Then they stand up for the third rak'ah and they sit for the final tashahud and offer salam. So if I am following the sunnah, but it so happened that this night of Ramadan, I'm praying taraweeh in a Hanafi masjid. And the imam prays witr in this format. What should I do? Nothing. Pray with him. But he's going against the sunnah. No problem. He's going against the sunnah because he believes that this is the right thing to do. Not because he wants to go against the sunnah. Anyone that wants to go against the sunnah deliberately and hates the sunnah, you should not pray behind him. So pray behind him and your prayer is valid with the grace of Allah, inshaAllahu Azza wa Jal.